To what extent do you think that the resilience of the American shale producers is going to be a topic at this meeting? We, we, no, we don't talk about resilient or no resilient. We, we talk about the non obic supply as a whole. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, there is a lot of countries that they produce, not, not, an, not an OBIC, including the shale oil uh, uh, of the states. And, uh, of course, so that the, the, the most important thing is how much non obic supply will provide to the market in the third quarter and fourth quarter of this year and the outlook for 2060. And what do you see? Because you know, the idea of the strategy was to hold on to market share at the last meeting, right? And to shake some of these high cost producers, the shale producers, out of the market. What we see now, we see a lot of uh, projects being deferred uh, from all companies. We see a lot of, uh, a lot of rigs that uh, laid down now. Uh, it's about 60% uh, of the rigs being idle now, uh, and we see, you know, the non obic uh, production is coming down. One of the things that uh, OPEC is going to have to deal with in the future is a lot more oil from Iran if the sanctions are removed. Uh, the Iranians sent a letter to all the delegates, I know you got the letter, saying um, the OPEC countries need to make room for Iran now that, you know, there's the prospect of returning to the market. Well, Iran is, is, is a, you know, is a, is a founder, is a member, is being under uh, sanction for so many years, and of course, if they raise this question, I'm sure that member countries they will listen to them. And 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 how should uh, OPEC do that by raising the production ceiling, and, or by? I cannot tell you what OPEC will do, but they will listen and they will discuss it. You know. Do you think that's a conversation for this meeting, for action at this meeting, or maybe the next meeting? Maybe it is an introduction for next meeting. Uh, for next. Meeting, just because the sanctions at the end of the day are still in place. Yeah, I mean, um, I really cannot tell you what's going to happen. They will discuss it, but uh, but uh, how much and uh, you know how, how much the the, the, the increase of production. But it is uh, yes, the country is under sanction and. Uh, and the, and the Iraqis, meanwhile, in terms of uh, production, right? They're producing oil like there's no tomorrow. Do you think some guys are going to say, hey, time for you guys to have a quota? <laughs> I, I don't know. I really don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Okay. Thank you very much for your time, Secretary General. We've got to listen in to the uh, Qatari oil minister who has just begun speaking Arabic here for a second. Of course, Qatar um, is... Uh, part of the Gulf uh, countries. Sir, you're live on Bloomberg um, Television. What would you like to see happen at this meeting? Well, we will have uh, the opportunity to review uh, development over the last uh, few months since we met uh, uh, November last year. And uh, there, 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 were, there were a lot of uh, development uh, and uh, in all, all fronts, be it the supply and demand, uh, be the economic situation of the world, but I can tell you that the indications are all uh, showing positive uh, results. Uh, healthy supply and demand, uh, GDP of the world uh, is uh, taking a positive direction, uh, which is all uh, good uh, for both the suppliers and the consumers. So you think that this strategy of holding on to market share, maybe even at the expense of prices, is, is working? To what extent are you concerned about the shale producers Resilience, they're still kicking around. The idea was to shake them out of the market, but even, you know, in the $60 range for Brent, uh, they're pretty much going at full cylinder. Well, uh, OPEC's uh, policy is not uh, directed actually towards a particular uh, type of production or a region. Uh, the, the idea well, is that, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's the economic uh, forces. Uh, which will, uh, if you like, uh, uh, determine the resilience of uh, the uh, production, uh, resilience of supply, and the economic uh, uh, situation of the world will indicate the, the supply. But it is natural that uh, uh, those who will uh, uh, have uh, the, the uh, opportunity to produce uh, at a cheaper, uh, lower uh, price, more uh, efficient, Will, will, will be even more resilient uh, than those who uh, produce at a higher price. In the the uh, Iranians said, um, the, the Iranians said, okay. I think we're going to leave it there. Oh, the media scrum is uh, picking up here.